Hello everybody, Greg Stager here, your K-12 Tech Guy, with a video to show you how you can protect files on your computer from snooping eyes. Now, I'm going to use a program called 7-Zip in order to do this. I'll include a link for you so that you can download and install 7-Zip and begin using it for yourself. It's absolutely free, so the price is right and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the files we want to protect and we're going to add them to a 7-zip archive and password protect it. So let's show you how to do this. I've already got 7-zip installed so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select these two items I'm going to right click and because I have 7-zip installed I've got this new context here in my right click menu that will allow me to uh, choose some options for 7-zip as well and I'm gonna hover over that get the new menu popping out to the side and I'm going to add to archive when I select that I get a new window that pops up here I can give the archive a different name than the default and that's up to you I'm gonna leave all of these default settings exactly the way they are I'm just gonna come over here to encryption and I'm gonna add a password here now there are no rules for how large or how complex your password has to be here so I'm going to encourage you to choose a password that is secure that is still something that is going to be difficult for somebody else to guess what the password is for the sake of example I'm going to keep it short just so you see that this works so I've got my password entered I re-entered the password and I'm gonna hit OK automatically creates this 7-zip file for me and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that now here are the two files that I added to the archive if I double click on this text file oh it's prompting me for the password I have to know what that is in order to open this so you can see here that the program is preventing anyone from opening the file without knowing what the password is that's good so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. The same works for this picture. So, And I put these both in here so you can see one is a text file, the other is an image. Uh, if I double click on this file, it's going to go ahead and launch Photoshop for me because that's what I have set to open my pictures. And there it is. Okay, so now the thing is, what if I don't even want people to see the names of the files I've got in here? I don't even want them to know what's in there. Let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to go back to my folder here. I'm going to select these two files. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to 7-zip and I'm going to add to archive just like I did last time. Only this time when I put in the password I'm going to check this box right here that says encrypt the file names. So basically this is going to prevent anyone from even seeing the file names unless they know the password. So I'm going to hit OK recreates this for me. Here's my 7-zip file. Now when I double click on it, it's asking for the password right away. Now when I type that password in, now I can open these files just fine, but I wasn't going to see what was in there until I put that password in first. Alright, now a couple of things to think about here. I've created the zip file and my things are in here and they are password protected they're safe from the prying eyes that we talked about however I still got a copy of them out here these are still double click and, and open no problem so it's going to be up to you to make sure that once you've created this zip folder to go ahead let's delete them let's get them out of here we're going to move them to the recycle bin Make sure then that you also go to your recycle bin, wherever you might have it, and empty the recycle bin. Otherwise, they're still on your computer waiting to be looked at by somebody who is, you know, clever enough to go to the recycle bin and see if there's anything in there. Yes, I just deleted them, but I've got them nice and safe here in my zip folder. Double click on the zip folder. It's going to ask for the password there they are they're still in their safe so even though you've hit delete it's okay you've got a, a copy in here nice and safe now the other thing to consider is that some programs may not have access to your zip folder what do I mean by that 
Well, in the case of my picture, I double click on it and it opens up in Photoshop. And Photoshop is okay with dealing with the setup. However, like Windows Picture Viewer or something like that may give you errors that say, well, it can't open it because it's deleted or it's in some file location that it can't get to. And that's kind of the case here. That program isn't able to come into the zip file and actually open the program. So let's give you a quick view of what that actually looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and change the program that we use to open our pictures and try to open that again for you. So we're going to close this out. I'm just going to jump into my control panel here quick, go to my default programs, associate file type. We'll go down to uh, JPEG here. There it is. We're going to change it from Photoshop to Windows Photo Viewer. We're going to hit OK. We're going to let that save and refresh. We'll close that out. Close that out. Now I'm going to go into my zip folder here again, put in my password. Now when I go to open my JPEG, oh wait a minute, Photo Viewer, you know, it's, this location's not available is basically what we're saying here. The picture's still there, but the location's not available because this particular program can't handle coming into the zip folder to actually open it. So what do we do? Let's close this. I can take this picture and I can choose to extract it. In other words, I'm going to pull it out of the uh, zip folder and put it in a location that's not password protected anymore. So we extract, hit OK. Now there's still a copy inside the folder. No problem. You haven't gotten rid of this one. But when I close it, ah, now the picture is out here where I can actually open that and look at it with Photo Viewer, and that's okay. So when you're done, though, uh, you may want to actually go out then and delete this again, and then go empty your recycle bin, or associate your picture or whatever file that you might have that a program that you're using to open it with can't open or get to the zip folder. Uh, you might want to change that program. So those are just a couple of things to kind of think about. Hopefully that this was helpful for you and you can find some use for it in your own context as well. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.